Hey, aging is inevitable for all of us, but did you know that you can slow down the aging process? That's right, and it all starts with two complex little proteins, elastin and collagen, two of the most abundant amino acid proteins found in your body. And they are associated, in fact, they work together in tandem. But how is elastin different from collagen? How does it work and how can we support or even increase it? Well, in this video, I'll be answering those questions and demystifying the world of elastin. Hi, I'm Yulaine Mertens from Beauty by Code and I am here to help you find the code behind your skin through skincare trends and clean beauty options. So welcome to my channel. Elastin is less abundant than collagen but it's also an important structural element in the skin and other connective tissues in your body. Elastin is crucial for those parts in your body that require um, a stretchiness, right? Like your lungs, your bladder, ligaments, and large blood vessels that expand to carry blood through your body. Despite the fact that collagen and elastin work together, they have two different functions. Collagen gives strength and rigidity to your skin. Elastin gives it, um, you know, like resilience and flexibility with the ability to return back to its original uh, shape after being stretched. Think a bit, it's, it's a bit like a, um, you know, like a coil spring or a rubber band. In fact, elastin is a thousand times more flexible than collagen. The eyebrows, think about your eyebrows, right? They are a good example of how we can see this teamwork, you know, between collagen and elastin in action. When we frown, you see this? Are you seeing my wrinkles? Uh, the skin is pulled together and it creates lines in the middle and then the skin will bounce back to its original uh, position when we relax our face. So, elastin production begins when you are in your mom's womb. And if you want to know a bit of the details, the production of these elastic fibers is a complex process known as elastogenesis, where large flexible molecules call, uh, they're called tropoelastin, they start combining to create elastin. Anyway, here is the thing. Unlike collagen that is continuously produced until, you know, you start the aging process, I would say in your mid-20s, elastin production stops way earlier, just after puberty. As we continue to age, elastin, your elastin fibers start to swell and stiffen, you know, from toxins such as calcium salts, fatty acids, and that begins to build up around them. And this lack of flexibility is what is responsible for your sagging skin. So if you find your skin has, you know, lack of firmness, firmness, oh my goodness, firmness, or appears to be sagging, then your skin lacks elastin. You can do the test, right? On the back of your outstretched hand, you can pinch the skin and see how long it takes for your skin to string back into place, okay? You pinch and you let it go. If you have a lot of elastin, it will snap back very quickly. And if you don't, it may take a couple of seconds to return to normal. Listen, it's not just age itself that causes the breakdown of elastin and collagen for that matter. The sun's UV rays, pollution, smoking can also accelerate the breakdown and slow the production of these structural proteins. Although, you know, natural elastin production stops pretty early on, there are a couple of things that you can do to stimulate uh, the production. First of all, prevention is always better than cure and it's never too early to start forming good habits to protect and, you know, the present and future of your skin. So what can you do today to start taking care of your skin's remaining levels of elastin and collagen? 
well, it always comes back, you know, it always comes back to your most, you know, I've been saying this in every single video, right? Go to the basics, your diet. There are a variety of foods that can help you boost your elastin and collagen in your skin. So when you are cooking, go for an abundance of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants to work right from the inside out. And this means loading up on fruits and veggies. Which ones, you ask? Well, go for leafy greens, broccoli, citrus fruits, berries, fatty fish. I mean, it's delicious not like almonds and walnuts, all of these products will help you start stimulating your elastin. When it comes to vitamins, the key is to load up on sources of vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E, which are all known to improve your skin's elasticity. And yes, you know, there are other things that you can do, which will, you know, we're going to talk about it in a minute, but without consuming enough of these vitamins, you will not see long lasting results. Okay, there is also a couple of extracts from hemp seed and soybeans that contain all of the three vitamins plus antioxidants. It is believed that they remove, you know, the dead cells from the top layer of your skin and that will help you tone your skin and improve the texture. You are going to have more tightness in your skin and you will end up with a radiant, smooth skin. So if you're looking for products, look for those ones. Um, it has also been suggested that herbal supplements like aloe vera, ginseng and green tea may increase the amount of elastin in your skin. But bear in mind that at this point there isn't enough research to conclude that elastin is indeed increased from herbal supplements. That being said, I mean, if you are healthy, why not start drinking green tea? Seriously, right? A recent scientific review published in 2018 on the causes of skin aging noted that collagen and elastin um, are lost through aging and this is due to a process, a biochemical process known as glycation, which is where proteins like collagen and elastin become bound to sugar molecules. You know where I'm going, right? So, and this, you know, will make your skin more uh, prone to wrinkles and sagging. While, you know, we cannot reverse this process, you can stop it right on its tracks by avoiding sugars and, you know, going for a diet that is low in the glycemic index. According to this review, there are some uh, herbs and spices that are believed to prevent glycation. So, I mean, start using them. Cinnamon, cloves, oregano, garlic, ginger, and allspice, which is also known as Jamaica pepper, I believe. I mean, start cooking with them. What else? Well, collagen supplements are becoming increasingly popular, and some studies say there is an improvement in your skin when you start uh, using collagen supplements, right? There is an improvement in your skin's firmness and elasticity. By the way, I have a detailed video on collagen. So after this one, go and check it out. Now, creams and serums fortified with hyaluronic acid may help your skin regain some of its um, elasticity. However, the data we have suggests that is vitamin A in the form of, of course, retinol and retinoids that combined with vitamin C, like that is the more effective combination if you want to restore your skin's elasticity. If you need more info on retinol, retinoids, retinol, go check my video, okay? Because you are going to learn a lot of things. In any case, when it comes to, um, you know, reversing the signs of uh, age, Retinoids are a great option. Now, let me give you a recommendation. If you want to try retinoids and see how your skin reacts, 
Youth to the People Retinol plus Niacinamide uh, Youth Serum. It's a great, I will say, potent yet clean choice that provides excellent results in your skin. You know, um, it's moisture in your skin. Uh, you, will, you will see your skin is more moisturized and uh, suited and replenished. It also ha has, of course, uh, retinol and that will even out your skin texture. So, aside from diet and supplements, what other things can you do to keep your elastin healthy? Well, you can and should establish a good, consistent skincare routine. This means often regularly, you know, you're cleansing your skin and moisturizing your skin. Uh, I will go for moisturizers or uh, skin creams that contain ferulic acid, vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. You can also go for um, hydrolyzed uh, elastin. However, hydrolyzed elastin is derived from animal products, so if you are vegan, you may want to avoid this option. What else? Sunscreen. I mean, it's always a vital component in any skincare routine. Go for a high SPF, uh, I will say at least 30, and wear it every single day and just, you know, limit your zone exposure as much as possible. Get your vitamin D because it is important, but don't overdo it. Also, you know what? Exercise. Exercise has a ton of benefits, but it also benefits your skin. When you exercise, your skin cells metabolism is boosted and your blood circulation is enhanced. So use some exercise as part of your skincare routine. And if you are a smoker, well, you have to quit. And I was thinking about this, you know, in Europe, I have, I know a lot of people who smoke here in the US, uh, none of my friends of people I know. Anyway, the truth is that the aging is accelerated by the chemicals that are in cigarettes, traditional and e-cigarettes. It doesn't matter, okay? So you know this. And if you have trouble uh, quitting smoking, ask for help, seek some help. Listen, I hope that I have cleared up some of the mystery around elastin and that now you have a better understanding and some ideas and products and spices that you can use to boost your elastin production. Now what? Go to my website, beautybycode.com, take the quiz and you will find out which acids are best suited for your unique skin type. I appreciate you. Leave a comment below and thank you for being here. Bye for now.